we have seen earlier on how we attach um, files or attachments into emails but now let's look at how you would open and save attachments so if you scroll on your emails here you will see that um, emails that have got this particular sign on it uh, means they have got an attachment so all the emails that have got this a little um, icon on them means they are emails with attachment so something is attached to those emails now if I go into this email and uh, look at what I have as the attachment I can go in depending on what um, program you're having or the program you are having uh, as, as the uh, original program for the attachment in this case Microsoft Word if you've got Microsoft Word on your computer you should be able to open a file attached in that particular uh, program so um, what Microsoft Outlook will do is it will give you a sneak preview of what the email contains this is your HTML preview of what the email contains now uh, if you want to save this uh, particular email uh, you will then open the attachment in the original file that it was made in this case the original file is Microsoft Word and from there um, I would want to go in and save this attachment now have a look at the saving option for your um, attachment it allows you to select a place where you want uh, the attachment to be so I can simply browse for the place and say I want to save it in my document and then um, save the file so I've opened an attachment and I've saved that attachment in a desired uh, directory so um, it can be any any uh, attachment related to any program when you click on it you will see that uh, there is an attachment on the document and um, the attachment is based on a particular program um, like in this case I've got an attachment that is in a PDF or portable document format which I then can go in and open uh, one I can open to preview uh, or two I can then uh, open the, uh, pro the uh, program from where it comes from or from its original program and once I'm done reading I can then in its original format save this file and uh, for later use